It is a plug and play console with a controller that makes no sense. The left thumbstick is is really it's the best picture of it I could find. The left thumbstick barely moves. It's like most times with a thumbstick you get to go all the way on the boundary of the controller. This you get maybe 50 degrees. Um I think the green thing is a D-pad, I'm not sure. And then there's a middle thing that you can twist. <laughs> and it returns back to its default position, and I, I don't know what that is. And it runs on batteries, so it's a plug-and-play that you plug into your TV that runs on batteries. I don't think this is gonna be worth it. Something tells me this is not going to be worth it at all. 50 games, action 52, minus 2. Alright, let's try Fast Runner. Okay, so Speed Racer, but Fast Runner. Wow. So this is a thing that's available on the market right now. I think this is $30. But yeah, this is on the market right now. For anyone who's, um, curious, you can- you can actually buy this on Amazon for 30 bucks. This is, uh, not NES. This is not a device from 30 years ago. This is a device that's available on the market today. Oh, look how cool this is. You get spawned- <laughs> you get spawned right where you died. It's very easy to just, like, keep crashing into the same stuff. Gotta collect money. Ultra modern video games, the modern age. So let's try, let's try Rally Racer. Oh god, it's the same music. And it's the same rip-off Speed Racer. Guys, what what are they doing to fucking Speed Racer's corpse? Okay. Alright, so it's it's fake 3D. Again, not an NES game. Very cool noises. A lot of the same sound effects I've noticed are being reused. Um, <laughs> I had no time to react to that. Yep. Yeah, Mono's right in chat. The Doppler effect is inverted for some weird reason. Look at this 2006 technology. I've had enough of this game. For the hour I spent trying to get this to work, I'm starting to wonder if it was worth it. Ugh. God. It's really... I mean, this is just... NES? These are just NES games, guys. The controller feels like a big, like, hunk of plastic. Like, a bike after a car wreck. Okay, so this- this thing is absolutely not worth the time. Space Warp. This is gonna look like another regular Nintendo game. Regular Nintendo, not any other kind of Nintendo, just regular. Is this- th this music? Okay, it, it's another shooter, alright. It looks a little bit better than the previous game, at the very least. The previous games, but is this me or is this music, like, reused? Okay, so, so far, I've only been using the red button which is X, and I've used the yellow button for turbo. Okay. The other buttons on this controller have not at all been used, but oh, oh, the D-pad, or should I say the th the D-nipple has actually, <laughs> it has come in handy. I can move my ship around with the D-nipple. You know what the D-pad reminds me of on this controller? It reminds me of a chewed up piece of gum that you might find under a table at a restaurant. That, that's- that's the caliber of craftsmanship that went into this thing. Alright, next. Um... I don't even think we're gonna find funny games. This- this is probably just gonna be, like, just- oh, Music sounds familiar, everyone. You get it. You get it. Who- who needs SGDQ when you have this? You get it. The worst part is I have two other plug-and-plays in my house at this very moment. And, I have more on the way. Is that the Link's Awakening bush? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, whoa, 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 the, I think these assets are ripped from Link's Awakening. I, I can't believe they did this. It's the same bush from Link's Awakening. It may be a pixel difference, I can't really tell because the graphics look like fuzzy assholes. I can't believe I actually even noticed that, that's, that's fucking weird to begin with. Uh, and the trees are similar. An attempt was made to rip it off, but they failed halfway through when they realized that it would take more effort to recreate the tree. So then the art- uh, the artist, with quotation marks, um, was just like, nah, I'll do my own. You know, I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll try not to rip someone off for once. I I'm being harsh. I'm sure the artist is a very fine and talented fellow. I lost an hour of my life trying to set this fucking thing up. Pipe. Alright, we're gonna lay some pipe. You are a, a ball. And you're in space. Your name is John Ball. Oh, okay. So you have to avoid... You have to avoid the, um... I'm pretty sure I just avoided that. But I was all the way on the left side. You saw that. 
what? What the fuck? Okay, it's just that pipe that that. Okay, this this is a thing here. Watch this. Watch this, guys. You die! Sorry, that was just that was just an hour of pent up anger because of this plug and play. Just just, just released in in one sentence. Pass. Well, you know, I'm gonna pass on this game, and I'm gonna try a different game that's very, very, very original. Here we go. Here's an original game. Rollerboard. It's gonna be original, guys. Wow. It takes longer to read the messages than to complete the levels. Look, look at how long it takes to, 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 com to start the level. Win. Ready? Win. Ready? Win. Ready? Lose. Trackball is this one. Needed. Good. Good, good level. You know what? Let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so there's no title screen. Well, there's a title screen, but there's no title. It's just a jet. What? Something's weird with the perspective here. I don't like it. It's, it's the same game from before, except this time we're over a, a jungle. Finally, another button came into play, guys. The other buttons detonate a bomb. So there is I, there is some other form of play. I, I'm done. Race and chase. Look at this lovely title screen. Loss. Loss. This is just like the same games regurgitated over and over again in different styles. Like this is the pipe game, just from a slightly different perspective. Oh, I have bombs. Or do I? I don't know what those are, actually. I- I don't really... Um, yep, those are bombs that go off. Look how f look how long it takes them to explode! Lose. Alright, you, you're- Your name is Malibu Jim, and you have to get back to your home. This is Jungle Protector. I like how one of the power-ups actually took away my power. I don't know if you caught that, it was very brief. I don't think they programmed the other weapons in. You know how in, in, in a lot of like games like this, where you get lasers and, and they do different things? Look, they forgot to program the shit in. I'm almost positive the people that made this forgot to program the other weapons in. So when you get something that's not part of your arsenal, it just downgrades you. North Territory. Okay, more, more of this shit. Please, li please let it not be a flight game. Oh no, how many of these are there? Oh man, I hope you like playing games. Because there's there's a lot of them on this thing. More than more than your heart's desire. With the same power-ups. Get home. I'm done with this game. Solaria. Oh, what a, what a surprise. This time it's shoot plus space. All you gotta do is hold down the button and you're you're just shooting forever, really. Laser actually did something. Oh no. Oh my god, guys, this is like Action 52! The backgrounds remind me of a a Action 52. I- guys, is this the same people that made Action 52? It's the same artist. <laughs> they got this- imagine they got the same fucking artist. And they were just like, yeah, no, 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 we're working on this new concept. Don't know if- like, I- I'm not entirely sure if I was alive while playing that game. Firefighter. Um... Uh, oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, whoa, 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 really? Okay, alright guys, this is actually Arachnoid. Or Alleyway on the Game Boy, if you've ever played that one. Th this is- or Breakout, if you will. Except, I'm actually shooting a, a person at the fires. How are they putting the fire out? Their head is hitting the fire! Speed Racer. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait! Wait, wait a minute. Can we- Back up for a second. We have Fast Runner and Rally Racer, which are two Speed Racer ripoffs, and now we have an actual licensed Speed Racer game? Let's go to Egypt. It's the same fucking game from before. What, 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 what do you mean? Why have a different game? Just call- just put these levels in the other game. Okay. I see what's different. You have curves in this one. These people are crooks. Honey, I came home with a new system. I spent my last $30. From working at the at the meat factory all day, at the bread loaf factory all day, honey. And I know how bad you want video games, but I know we can't afford them. And you know, I'm so sorry, honey, but you know, you're the best child 
a mother could ever ask for. So what I did was I broke into my savings and I, I, I spent the last $30 I had. I was gonna buy something for myself, honey, but I, 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 I saw this thing on sale and it's got 50 video games. You like video games, right? This is the best birthday ever. This is the best birthday ever. And then it's this, the same game over and over again. And they all suck. I, I, this, this is the type of thing that destroys homes. Hey, um, so here's Invisible Tennis, everyone. Here's how you play this. You pretend that you have a tennis racket, and if you're lucky, you'll hit the ball. How's that sound? Good? Sleepy happy face agrees. No, we don't need a tennis racket. That's too much money. Jenkins, Jenkins, we need it. We need you to animate a first-person tennis racket. Stat. Sir, that's too hard. Sir. Sir, I barely know how to use MS Paint. Jenkins, we can't have a tennis game without a tennis racket. I don't care, I quit! <sighs> Release the game. Off-road racer. This looks familiar. Oh look, I get to choose one of three characters. Pippi Longstockings, um, Fro, Fro, Fro Bone, and, um, Mohawk Punk. Of course, none of that matters when you zoom out this far, but good. Instant crash. I should have just quit the game right there, it would have been better. So, the road is destroyed. And the concept here is that you have to jump from road to road, and when you do that, you lose your speed. Is this fun? A cool concept for a game? Doesn't it make you just want to, like, eat your own scrotum? Definitely not. Challenge 100! Oh, here we go, here's the mascot of the game. This is like the cheetah men of this game. It's not Bubble Bobble. Yeah, there's, there's like Morse code hidden in this song. Eat your own scrotum. What's good for you? Play more shitty game. So, in this game, you fall. That you just fall over and over again. This was a, a, a TI-86, or was it TI-83? I, I always forget. This was like the, the calculator I had in high school. There's a game called, um, Fall Down, I think? And this is just that, basically. Also, you regain life with every platform you land on, so... Alright, I, I think it would be harder to actually die in this game. It's- it's kind of hard to die in this game. This- this is- <laughs> This is, um... Very handholdy. Frog is ripped from Hello Kitty. Is it? Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah. Infringed characters. Crazy hit starring Mouse. Okay, now the graphics here are arguably the most advanced I've seen. So it looks like. Um. Oh. Oh god, the controls are terrible on this one. I'll tell you how to play this in a second, but this looks like it was ripped from a Flash game and translated into, like, Whatever, like, b bits this is, it, it's, it's, this is oddly different than the other games. The other games were more NES, this reminds me more of a shitty Flash game. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so you have to... Fail. You have to choose the direction you want to attack in on the broken thumbstick, and if you're lucky, you'll get close enough to where that hole is, and you'll hit the thing. Dump and load, here's, there's a dump and load, here we go. Dump and go. Um, hey, this... yeah. It, it actually feels like I'm really driving, everyone. It's like real life! I think I'm good on that. Um, Elf... Land. <laughs> Elf Land. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Elf Land, everyone. Okay, what, what is this game? What do you do? What is the objective? I'm not told anything, I just- there's like baby elves. I was expecting like Tolkien elves, but I got Santa Claus elves instead. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, the goals are incredibly vague. Oh, okay, I think I got it. Hang on. Okay, when you're red, you eat red things. When you're green, you eat green things. So I'm a- I think I'm- I'm the enemy, because I may be an elf, I'm not sure. I'm moving on my own. Okay, that- that wasn't even my character. No, they just- no game over screen, guys. They just show you a little bit of gameplay, and then you go back to the title. Fuck you. Someone in chat just said, at least it's original. Get out. <laughs> you're not allowed to compliment these games. So this is- <laughs> So this is Gears. Starring Speed Racer! <laughs> Did they even get a license for this character? Look, look guys, I'm Speed Racer! Check it out! <laughs> you can totally tell! It looks like an unmanned scooter, but yeah, I'm Speed Racer. There's a very loud engine. The engine is louder than the music, by far. Cool, I can kill them. I can also possibly- can I go to the beach? No, alright. Rocket Rider. Please let it not be Speed Racer. Please. Scene 1. 
I don't think it's Speed Racer. It's just generic motorcycle, dude. Man, I thought Action 52 was the pinnacle of garbage. You know, when it comes to, like, large collections of game. To fix the a video took about 15 minutes, audio took 45 minutes, and then I failed. Pro Tennis. That looks like clip art. That dog, again, graphics that don't fit the other. It, it's, I mean, you could say there is some inspiration involved. It doesn't matter. Because, you know, but whatever that, whatever that dog was doing on the title screen had nothing to do with what's happening now. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Hey, I just, you know, I'm trying to find the bootleg, because I'm wondering, like, I, we've seen stolen assets, we've seen actual Speed Racer for some reason. Oh, I see, look at that, look how precise you have to be. I think we just found the hardest game in the entire collection. You have to be really precise for that. Who? Okay, that, that's a that's a fun face. <laughs> that, that's a that's an emote. If anyone needs one, have fun with that. It's a bootleg Humpty Dumpty. Okay, we have our first puzzle game, arguably. You like how I'm not given any instructions? It's just match the things next to the other things. I'm pretty sure that's as far as it goes. Prick quick. Here we go. Prick quick. We're gonna be figures, fruits, and flowers. I have a choice between- uh, what's figures? Let's be figures. Oh, I see. So it's another puzzle game. Um, this music sounds very oppressive. Almost like communist Russia. Bejeweled. Okay, it's bejeweled. But yeah, that- that- that music was very oppressive. Um, towers. Here's that frog again, but this time he's in a toga! <laughs> We're climbing this time! I can't change the direction. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, so so he moves automatically, and you have to charge your jump. Nope. No, you're fucked. You're just dead. Pet jump. <laughs> Again, I'm sure that's an asset from something. That that looks very familiar. I, I doubt that's actually original. Wow, look at these graphics. It's... is this... what is this? What am I doing? I'm just throwing... Tennis balls at a dog? Tom and Jerry's bulldog. Yeah, I was, I was wondering about that. Why is the fence green and the floor and the ground pink? I'm just wondering what's up with these weird, like, fucking inverted- Like, if you told me that the colors were off and inverted on the system, and that I needed to adjust my hue on my TV, I would- I would do that, because that- that does not look like real life. And video games are supposed to be realistic, goddammit. <laughs> Push the ball. Sounds riveting. Okay, I'm fighting against- a robot with green nipples. So I'm already fucking totally invested in this. Like, I, I, I'm trying... There we go. Okay. If the control stick didn't suck, I'd say maybe this is possibly good for, you know, well, it's not that good, but... <laughs> Pro Boat Racer. Okay, it's fucking Speed Racer again. Look at it. <laughs> look at this one. Look at this. Look at this Speed Racer. This is amazing art of Speed Racer. <laughs> Speed Racer has been destroyed by this plug-and-play. Again, this- the thumbstick is really bad, that's why the last game. So Speed Racer has traded his Mach 5 in for a boat. I'd, I'd like to dub this the Mach 0.5, which is still too fast. Now we're- now we're picking up. This is about Mach 0.5, I'd say. Right spot. Is that Earthworm Jim font? I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like- look, it looks like those are dildo molds. Like, you pour in the- the substance, and then you pop them out, and they're dildos. Right spot. So this is the right spot here. Again, no explanation on how to play the game. Is this what it feels like before you're born? It, it, I, I- if you do all the things, you win. Hang on, someone said Pro Boat Racing ripped off of... There was a, a Zelda cuckoo on this. Okay, that looks like Pokemon. Yep. There it is. That is a Zelda cuckoo. Good. Very good! Oh, this is all original assets. Do not steal. Do not steal. I, I, I like the mouth of, around the plane. C can we just look at the mouth around the plane, the white lips? Which looks like it was made with the box, like, brush in, in MS Paint and never fixed. Okay, so in this, the the um, the cupcake alien invaders are giving the cummies to the mushrooms below. Yes, I regret that sentence. Big rig, 
big rig. <laughs> what? Mother of fuck. Oh, Speed Racer, no. What have they done to you? It's a game called Big Rigs Racing, okay? And that fucking game sucks dick. So this, this game can only be better than that. Why is Speed Racer driving this truck? <laughs> they have destroyed Speed Racer's legacy. That one of those trees looks really familiar. That tree is straight from fucking RPG Maker. Hang on a second. Or it could be. Maybe it's not RPG Maker. It's something. I've seen that tree before. Tree is from Tree Maker. That's a good game. Safety Watch. Okay, this is Safety Watch, everyone. Um, I'm Birdo. I'm the Birdo mech. I protect the city from r rockets and assholes. But am, what am I? I thought I was massive. Actually, I am massive. I'm about the size of a car. I'm not bigger than a city, though. That was a fallacy. This game fucking lied to me on the title screen. It's just one of those things where you just cross the street. Just cross the street over and over and over again. Over and over again. Hello, comrade. Let me show you my music. Please, listen. So this is... Worst Pac-Man. So does anyone know why there's like a dinosaur with a baby like happy face on the bottom right? For, is this necessary? Is that necessary? Do we need this? Also the Noid from the fucking Pizza Hut advertisement. You know, he's here. Just blue. Yeah. So do you remember in Pac-Man there's a little thing where you could actually, you know, kill the, the enemies? And it was awesome. You know, that that's... Okay, well actually I think... I think you can kill them. I think you can, like, push this thing into them. We're gonna find out in a second. Yep. Yeah, you can kill them. You can kill them. They go away for a minute. You actually do have an opportunity to kill the enemies, so... That's a valid... Uh, it's an invalid point I was gonna make. Wait a minute! Wait! Just a second, everyone. Hang on, what's this? What's this? What's this teddy bear? Right? Hey, teddy bear. But more specifically, what's what's this part of the bear? What is that exactly, guys? Is that a tail? Oh, it's the beginning of a tail, guys. It's just you see the tail from the front. Don't freak out over it or anything like that. It's definitely it's definitely a tail. Otherwise, why would it be there? This is for kids. Road builder. Alright, so this is road builder. And um again, another somewhat original concept. Uh I guess what we have to do is Build roads, right? So how do we do that, you ask? Well, first you press every button, and then when those buttons don't work, you press the buttons all over again, then you press them all at the same time. Oh, wait a minute. I, I think I know what I have to do. Yeah, I see what I have to do now. Okay. No, this isn't an original concept either. I mean, this is the Bioshock hacking for the most part, but it's a, a original for this plug and play at the very least. It's not another fucking racing racing game. It's not another let me piss on speed racers grave. I'm gonna complete one level or try to. Maybe the game is going to best me. The game might be smarter than me, which would not be a difficult thing, but just think you could have been watching AGDQ and here you are. Uh, whoops. I, th I didn't actually mean to put that there, but I guess we'll just... Hey, I did it. <sighs> this is Egg Catch. Good graphics. Oh, the controls are rough. The controls are slippery. You know in Mario Brothers when you're Luigi and you slip on ice? You know how slippery that is? That's how slippery this is. You, you have to move in very small movements because you slide all over the place. Also, we need to count how long it takes between fail and ready. I am barely touching the controller, and I'm sliding all over the fucking place. I can't... I can't do this. Flying targets is this one. Uh, what the fuck? What? I don't even know how I'm playing this game. I can't decipher how this game is supposed to be played. And I'm not trying to be funny when I say that. I really don't understand the targeting mechanism here. The D-pad doesn't do anything. The, the, the control stick doesn't do anything either. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Next is dry. I, I really tried hard to figure that out and I couldn't do it. So here's another original and unique game concept with music that was made just for this. And, uh, it's, 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 it's Snake. 
Oh, wow. Oh, shit. He fucking explodes. Each part of his body, each segment of his body explodes. Thorax exploded. His heart exploded. He had an enlarged liver. That exploded. Uh, next is... is Solitaire, which... I mean, how can you fuck this up? Because you could... you could kind of fuck it up. You could make it really clunky. And you can make it... like, unforgiving. No, it's... it's... it's Solitaire. I can't really say anything about this. It's... it's just Solitaire. <laughs> that's, uh... that's as much as we got. Someone said, I consider the music a fuck up. Maybe. Yeah, you might have just, uh, you might have just done it. Y you might have found a way to, <laughs> you might have found a way to, to ruin even solitaire with shitty music. Just mute it and you got solitaire. Okay, trophy fishing. All right, so trophy fishing, um, hey, does this kind of remind you of a Mario Party minigame? Do you remember the Mario Party minigame with fishing where you had the hand that you had to reel in? I don't think I've ever quite had laughing fits. Like when I was playing Mario Party when I was a kid. Those aren't bullet bills, those are- those are b bullet guillermos. These are like, not even- They're not cheap cheeps, they're a little- They're almost cheap cheeps, and those aren't bullet bills, they're just bullet J williams. So, it's a little different. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, so this is an archery competition. Whoa, that wind. This wind does not fucking make up its mind. Um... That- was that a hit? That counted as a hit. That counted as a hit to- oh, I understand now, I- I see. This is also not a complete fuck-up. I mean, the music needs to maybe go away, but it's- it's- it's what it was advertised- Is that a dude in a Speedo? Did you see that guy? Yeah, that sound effect sounds like something from Kid Icarus. Which is fitting, considering I have a bow and arrow, so... Grass cutter. Ugh. Hey kids, have you ever wanted to mow the lawn, but your dad wouldn't let you touch the mow the lawnmower? Afraid of the blades? Well, now you can you can mow your own fucking virtual lawn. Go fuck yourselves, kids. My dad said that if I used the real lawnmower, I'd get my hands in the motor. I don't want to get my arms chopped off. Once again, this music makes me think of like bread lines and like people not being able to eat because they they have to wait in line for four hours for- for butter. Pass. Eh, it's passable. You didn't do good, you didn't succeed, you didn't win. It's just pass. So this is technology. This- look at- oh shit, 3D. Big workload. <laughs> yeah, but that shit's a big work- workload. Oh, never mind, it's not 3D. Oh, I already fucked up. Good game. You have to get the box. There's a game on- on the Game Boy that was pretty much this. Sea Hunt. So... At the very least, though, it's not just another ten racing and- and, um, plane games. I- I really did think we were gonna get at least another twenty racing games, but- but... There- there have been attempts to mix it up a little bit. This is really, like, we're- we're almost on Action 52 territory. The only thing that would separate this is the games look a little bit better, and they control a little bit better. That's the difference between this and Action 52, and there's less glitches. Action 52 just had so many glitches. But this game have officially has stolen more assets than Action 52 ever has, so congratulations, VS50. Um, Snood. Okay, I know Snood. That was another game on my calculator. Snood.com. This is real. Again, the music sounds like someone that really didn't quite know how to play the MIDI. It, it sounds like the composer keeps changing his mind. Like he, like he presses a, a key and he's got an idea for a little melody and then he just changes his mind immediately. It's like, it's like listening to a composer work in real time. Any of the, the good results without any of the actual benefits of the editing. But yeah, it's, it's Snood, which, I mean, if you've played Busta Move, you, you know what this is. This was the ripoff. This was the ripoff that they had on the calculator. Snood Towers. Oh look, they got a better advertisement for their website now. <laughs> That's a puzzle game. Man, Snood really fell off after Snood 4. This series had so much potential. Oh look! It's one of these. Match the shapes. Um, only two left, everyone. We're almost done. VS Max, the Vine Sauce Max, plug and play console. Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the soup line. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, what is that? You want to surf? <laughs> we do not have surfing. 
Again, fucking, like, really confusing, unclear goals. I think it's just to not get hit by the swimmers and watermelons. Are those watermelons? No, that's cash. Okay, I want to collect those. Whoa. Puzzle fun, everyone. Let's do one. Alright, let's see if it's actually fun. <laughs> I'm not having fun, I'll tell you that much. I can't find a button that works. <laughs> Nothing's working. Wow, that's a disappointing ending. Well, there's the VS Max. Thank God it's over. This was a nightmare. This was a nightmare. Listen to this music. Look at the menu music is pretty fucking great. So, $30 plug and play, um, I'm not sure who sent this to me, but thank you very much. It, it runs on batteries, and it's about, what, 80 cents a game? Something like that, in, in that area. The blue button was used once. Some of the buttons on this controller were never used, so there's that. I'm gonna break it now, okay? It runs on regret. <laughs> Oh, I just accidentally popped a battery out. That's the other thing. The battery case is kind of weird because you have to screw it in. Not like a normal battery case where you just like pop it off. No, you gotta unscrew it. They, they couldn't have done like a little bit better than that for Speed Racer. He deserves better, man. He deserves better. Six Speed Racer games. Yeah. Yeah, there was the one where he was driving a truck. There's one where he was in a boat. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I definitely get, you know all my speed racer action from this fucking console. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, um, there's, there's lots of unnecessary buttons on this controller. It could have gotten away with a D-pad and two buttons. This could have been an NES controller. No, I'm not gonna break it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it. One, one day. One day I'll figure out something to do with it. Maybe I'll figure out a way to break it. I'll send it to the Hydraulic Press guy. Hello and welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. We must break this plug and play.